Hi viewers, welcome back to the Multi Magic channel. Myself is funny. Hello, this is Rushikesh. I think this is the first time you guys are watching me. Firstly, I would like to thank all our viewers and subscribers, and also I'm very thrilled to be part of this. And without any delay, let's jump in to today's content. Yeah. Yeah, Rushi. Even I am excited to and thrilled to be part of this video. So without yes. any delay, let's start it. Yep. Yes. And, let's jump in. Can you move to next slide, Rushi? Yeah. So today in in this video, we will discuss the agenda before starting anything. So first, we'll see why. What is the motivation behind this video? Like why we want to make this video with the team and all these things. We'll cover the main motivation, and we'll also discuss in this uh, uh, video why we are. Why, what is our main motivation behind, or what is our what is our main passion behind working for a startup? and also we will uh, discuss a few things on why we want to choose this multi magic projects what made us to decide to work for this multi magic project and also we would like to give some uh, like bit of kind of high level details on the product development process we are following at our to, to, to the development of this product and also we'll discuss we also provide some few slides uh, regarding how the journey is so far and we will see it okay so now the main motivation behind this video is see as you know uh, actually last week uh, we had a live session me and my friend rushi and we are yes. all yeah yes rushi yeah, we are all we are all part of that live session uh, after the live session is completed we got feedback from our teammates colleagues and few other uh, well wishers the main feedback we received is like uh, uh, they were not completely able to grasp our journey so yes. few of the details are in bits and pieces and for few viewers who are first time seeing this video they are not sure what is what went so far so that continuity is not there so we would yes. like to cover all those aspects now and then accumulate all those in one video so you all can uh, thoroughly uh, uh, will enjoy our journey and also you will be clear on what has happened so far yes yeah so first thing first first thing first so why startup rushi can you take on this yeah sure thank you fanny yeah so basically i graduated from iit jammu in the year 2021 but uh, during my graduation days i used to talk to a mentor who used to guide me from my childhood and yeah it's a general discussion like like uh, he actually he is associated with a startup called the axi so he used to work for that and I used to ask him like, how is the work going, and what is the culture they are following, and how is the team and all. Okay. And he used to tell me like, uh, yeah. So he used to guide you on different it. ideas and different. Uh, yeah, funny. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yes, thank you, funny. Uh, yeah. So he used to guide me to like. He used to explain me those all things. Got it. Got it. And uh, mm. that's where that's where it strike for me like. Yes. So uh, that made that, you to generate an interest towards startup, I believe. Yes, okay. funny. Uh, so that actually that really motivated me because okay. uh, you know the the people who are working for startup, they are really passionate and they are really motivated to yeah. build a very quality and revolutionary product. You know. Right, right. Even I do notice that. Yeah. That's, yes. That's correct. So That's correct. Yeah. so from my graduation days onwards, I have mm -hmm. a thought of like. To collaborate with startup and work for it, like early age startup to be precise. Mm -hmm. And uh, so your mentor yeah. guided you, I think, well, uh, and then that uh, you had a strong impact on him, I believe. Yes, yeah. I have a, I had a strong impact uh, on him actually. Good, good, good. So, so what happened during that 2018 after you? Yeah, and uh, actually, I also told him like give me some kind of words and all. I used to call him for some. Doubts also. So and he he used to give me very small small things mm -hmm. like to just uh, write an XML parser. Okay, okay. That yeah. kind of things. So um, I used to work for him like that. That's great. Uh, you started your career with startup. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get that chance. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that was great. <laughs> okay. And okay. after my graduation, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there's a common point between me and my mentor. I have mm -hmm. uh, interest. To work in startups, and he is really passionate to start a startup. Actually, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, like 
he grabbed my interest and like he used to observe me and he used to train me mm-hmm. but you know initially i was as a beginner everyone mm-hmm. so everyone would face problems like mm-hmm. uh, you know building a quality product is very challenging so at okay. that time yeah this uh, my mentor introduced funny to me and actually okay. i put, i should have that is a pivotal moment that really changed my life i like, think he, you know, he i think he's to be he's, he's very modest not a <laughs> not a pivotal moment just a normal moment <laughs> no uh, not related to the work you know okay uh, i got some clarity like clarity on how my vision should be like okay like i, I, uh, I am glad i helped you in that aspect <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah uh, to be frank my technical roots are like my mentor and the funny itself yeah mm-hmm. that and great, uh, great 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 rushi okay yes so thereby i got some goals and vision like how my life should be and all so mm-hmm. that's fair i guess uh, me and funny started with uh, a product called micro studio yeah i remember that <laughs> Yes, yes. That's it was a couple like of it. years back we started on that. Yes, and you know that is mm-hmm. uh, that is the oldest name of earliest name of this multi magic. You know? Yeah, yeah. And we initiated it, and uh, we did some progress, but we got some priorities, so we kept that away. And again, we came back, and we came back with another name actually, Media Suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. And Correct. we got some priorities again. Yeah. So then we skip that again. So we are kind so, of on and off. We come to yeah, we are kind of on and off. Completely. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, funny. But, uh, but multi magics is not an overnight, uh, mm-hmm. overnight decision and all. So yeah. this actually this has a very long story which I used to Correct. tell. Right. But right, right, right. we can discuss that in some other videos. Yeah. uh but yes that's where uh, from past three months i guess we started this multi magics back again mm-hmm. so yeah for now you have been watching all the videos and all so i guess yeah uh, yeah ruchi that was a this is about uh, how i am interested in startup and why i came to this startup and uh, why we started this multi magics and what is uh, mm. uh, this is not a overnight decision mm. Uh, actually this has a long story yeah, yeah. coming from my co studio to this all yeah yeah, yeah thanks for it you please go on yeah actually uh, that was an amazing journey rushi so far i think yeah. uh, you you had a pretty good interest on startups right from your uh, btech days and then you somehow you got into the startups from the career building that's so nice and that's so pl- uh, amazing to hear i think all the viewers yes. who are watching this might be start start working for startups rather than going for traditional <laughs> mnc companies <laughs> yes yes I, yes I, I, i wish they do like this yeah yes. coming to my point of view actually i am not that good as rushi i i didn't be seen in the 80s but yeah <laughs> to be frank i just i just got graduated from a normal college and then i started my career I, but in between i did a uh, masters masters in usa from university uh, of texas uh, mm-hmm. after after graduating there you know rushi uh, i started working for a company called uh, uh, cymer there i yes. met my mentor and then we used to like how you discuss uh, uh, and when i am talking my mentor so the thing is we both have a common mentor so yes he, yes he he It is in a different phase i am and he is in rushi is in a different phase but it's like yes. more or less it's like a parallel parallel things happened in our lives and yes. and my the mentor used to actually to, to tell me about how how startups how to rather than startups like how what is a career how to be successful in career what are the key things you need to take care in a career like generally we used to start discussion and after some time i came back to india before for certain reasons and then here i have been doing well actually with my career i have been working as a senior developer and from there to software de- senior software developer the so life is going good but somewhere i felt like i am not getting an opportunity to work for projects from this scratch or from be a part of that core team or do all the level of math that the different abstractions and uh, be part of some uh, top revolutionary projects so i was not part of such team or such part of organizations due to yes. i mean sometimes luck or sometimes lack of skills maybe to be frank so i decided to be associated with the startup so that is my main motivation for this startup and then uh, actually as my colleague rushi mentioned like 
we started with that uh, micro studio actually and uh, even before micro studio we actually uh, during my days in us uh, i associated with a startup called axi where my mentor is the, uh, one of the main core team member in that but actually we me and rushi did little things over there but we are not known much each other at that point so we actually were gelled each other from the last two years for the product micro studio as he mentioned like we are on and off on and off but finally from all our experience from the past from the experience from different products difference from the experience from the different startups we decided to start small and make it yes. big and yes. that is the reason we started with a small product today it might be a small but we started with a known thing called related to media kind of thing called a product called multi magics where you can in general do anything using this tool so you can as you know you can convert you can compress you can size resize and you can uh, this particular product is available to all different platforms so yes a, and that is our future vision of this yes 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 yeah. can you go to the next slide rushi we will we will we'll, we'll discuss I think yeah. yeah. I think yeah. We pretty much covered this. Why we want to work for this particular product, multi magics, and then yeah, uh, it's all yeah. As I mentioned, we worked for the Silicon pre. Uh, I mean like Silicon Valley pre startup Axi, and how we contributed very little, and how that was a starting point for us to start this multi micro now multi magics. Yeah. Yes. I hope. Yes. I hope. Uh, yeah. You all the viewers are now got a little bit about ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We will move. We will we'll go on with the video. So, can you go with the next slide? Yeah, we'll see. Yes. Yeah. So, first of all, we will talk about actually. So now we had a passion towards startup. We had luckily we got associated with multi magics. But now actually, to achieve anything, we need a process. We need certain principles and we need certain discipline. to achieve yes. something especially for startup this is into three times four times we need so me we as a team we decided to be uh, to come up with a kind of a ca cd pipeline which is a yes. more of a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline thing and then initially me rushi and my, our, our, all of the team members we used to dis discuss the brainstorm the ideas identify the approach and rushi used to come up with lot of interesting ideas is that right rushi <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah, that's actually right. But not alone, you know. Uh, as a team, we progress and we used to yeah. keep some general discussions, you know. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So now, after these discussions and all those things, uh, actually, we start. We used to implement it. The code, actual code. So yes, as, uh, Rushi used to take care of all the front end things. He's pretty much good at React and other front end applications. And uh, I generally take care of the back end activities like C plus plus. And then yeah, currently C plus plus we have an idea for Java, but currently we stick to Java uh, other back end development C plus plus. Yes. And Rushi, I think it's your core platform support. <laughs> Can you? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, sir. You know, mm -hmm. uh, building a product. You know, like we have to mm -hmm. build. And Android app, iOS app, and macOS app, and so on. So, like mm. each and every platform has very different technologies. Mm -hmm. you know? mm. So, but macOS and iOS development is quite a bit similar. But Android and Windows development is complete. There, there are there are two different paths actually. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's why these mobile hybrid frameworks and uh, these hybrid frameworks uh, came into the place. Okay, okay. So, so you want to focus from the beginning. uh you want to scatter we want to scatter the product for uh, multiple platforms See, in general yes. we don't want to stick to a single product single platform yeah the visibility will be less yeah in, and this one more thing you know mm. uh like with the building a product is totally fine but mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. building a less building a product which will have less maintenance that's a crucial got part. it got it got it so, so you want to maintain what, a common code For all which is which which suits all the platforms, and we don't want to make much more changes for each when you jump onto each platform. You just want yes. to maintain. Oh, that's great actually. Yes, I can. Uh, so that's why these hybrid frameworks help us. You know, we will have a single code, single code base, mm -hmm. and we can deploy that for all platforms. Right, right. That's and great. that's how we came into this design. Like backend, mm -hmm. our core is in backend. Like 
that is in C, C++. Mm -hmm. But we can integrate that core backend to this uh, platforms seamlessly. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in our, in, in our future slides, you know. Correct. So yeah. you'll understand how we made, how we started with the backend and how we integrated mm -hmm. these backend to all other platforms seamlessly, yeah. even though we started with Android in the starting, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we, will, we will go through all those we'll, and too. Yeah. We, will all, we will go through all the human evaluation like like yes. that we'll go out to our product evaluation see where we begin where we end yes. how, how hard it was like all those things we'll definitely discuss now yes. but we got to start for you I guess yes yes and what yes. about these YouTube channels yeah I want to thank at this point to all the viewers for supporting us. Yes, I really want to yeah. thank them. See, why the viewers have a doubt, maybe why this multi magic channel, why this functionality videos, all these things. See, as a, as in a startup, we from our past experience, we have noticed it is very difficult to track the things and then since it's a small team and you will be, the things will be moving very rapidly and fastly and if someone wants to come and contribute to it, we will not have time to spoon feed them based on the dynamics of the company. So I think the best way to overcome this issue is to capture whatever things we are doing for a weekly basis in a YouTube video, at least at yeah. high level. So that would yes. help us, that helped us really a lot so far and then it's been helping uh, in a big way so far. Actually, that is a real, yes. really good thing. And yeah. From, and um, from, yeah, Rushi, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Fanny. Uh, actually, that's the primary reason. Correct. And uh, the secondary reason is, like, I graduated in 2021, as I said before. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like, no one knows while doing their graduation process, like, no one knows how the startup uh, would start. You know? mm -hmm. So, like, we we are in an illusion like we'll build a quality product and then we'll take that to the market correct correct so mm -hmm. but what we are trying to do is we are trying to share all our journey and we are trying yeah. to be trying to be very transparent in what we are doing so yeah in the other sense like rather than focusing on the results and then focusing on the other aspects of the startup yes we actually yes. want to be more of a process oriented people like yes and not like typical like mnc process here i would say but a simple process which would really motivate motivate us every week because it's a long journey will be associated yes. with this for two to three years yeah yes yeah, but super we are using react native mm. funny uh, but you know uh, in this like by uploading these videos mm. we might change our technical stack too yeah that's so, that's that we'll we cover that yeah we'll, yeah, we'll cover that in the upcoming videos. Yeah, yes. yeah, viewers. For we are, I think you, you are all are pretty much clear on this a simple CI/CD kind of development process. Yeah, we'll move ahead, uh, and then yes. yeah, yeah. So this is the big matrix. Please don't be scared. Roshi, you want to start on this? Yeah, you please go on, then I'll continue. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the ball is in my court. Okay. Yes. See, as we said, see, we we are a product called multi magic so the back end development is depending on ffmpeg so we have ffmpeg libraries built for all the platforms and then we have an we have an application written in c++ which uses this ffmpeg libraries and the applications are majorly focused on audio and video like you have a video and you can extract audio from it and then you can convert a video format to other format like an mp4 to mkv and also you can just convert a different, uh, you can resize them, you can compress a lot of uh, things you can do using this backend application, okay. But yes. this is just one side of the story. And yes. the front end, uh, Sony, you want to talk on, uh, Rishi, you want to talk on the yeah. front end? Uh, for user interface, for Windows, we choose the MFC as our primary. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, for mobile and for mobile platforms and desktop platforms, which is React Native because we want to go with the one which is already mm -hmm. in the boom. Okay. So, and uh, we choose React Native modules because we wanted to give our backend as a library instead of putting all the source code in the project itself. Yeah. So that's why we came up with this React Native modules. Correct, yeah. correct, correct. And, and that's about user interface. Correct, correct. Yes, Rishi, that's uh, great. So actually, this is our, uh, we mix our this front end and back end to integrate this to different platforms. So Ubuntu yes. is more like a console application of our, of our product, which will not have yes. any UI. It is completely purely a back end console application. Yes. 
Yes. And then Windows, it is like an MFC, MFC application, which will have both front end and back end. But yes. uh, we, why we went for Windows or MFC, just to show some variant. I mean, like since Windows Ubuntu being a console application, we don't want Windows also be a console application. Uh, we do want to be show some difference in the Windows. That's why we picked MFC. And later we will be uh, Rushi will be taking care of moving that MFC to the uh, yes. React Native. And on yes. the Android platform also, yes, it is used to the uh, React Native front end and back end, and some integration in the JNL layer will be there. We used to modify the code, copy the code as it is. We'll be explaining that in the next slides. How easy yes. this. And we are not there yet in Mac OS and in iOS and R5, Raspberry Pi 4, but pretty much we will be starting working on those things also. We will be coming up to the speed where our current product is there. We will be up to that level in all the other three platforms also. But as of now, we are pretty much on Ubuntu, Windows and Android is in our control. And yes. Mac OS and iOS and R5 will be definitely get our hands dirty on it in the coming days. Yeah. Yes, truly. Yeah. Yeah. So here is the story started actually. So so far we discussed me and Ruchi. We said that we have different ideas. All this. So every big thing starts with a small step, as you know. So we started yes. with the small step. So this is like a simple console application, MP4 to MP3. So mm -hmm. where uh, it depends upon a third-party library called FFmpeg. Instead of we directly taking the pre-built libraries, we have downloaded the FFmpeg source code of a particular version, and then we have built it on uh, on Ubuntu, and then we are we reused those builded libraries and headers in our uh, console C++ application. We used all those yes. APIs, and then we we have written the code for extracting our uh, audio from a video file, typically an MP3 from MP4. And then That's you can, step. yes, Rushi. Yeah, yes. yeah. And then I remember still that you and me spent a lot of lot of hours on this during the Micro Studio actually. But yes, that, that was a pretty good achievement, I believe, because yes. that cracking the first nut is very tough. And then I think we we really did as a team really did a good job on it. And yes. then yeah. You can see yes. here there is an MP4 file and it is converted to MP3 using a simple console application. Yes, yes. And then, and then, see, as I mentioned, as we want to show some difference to Windows, Ubuntu to Windows, we did the same application in the Windows also. Here, the magic here it is the same backend code. We, cre we actually we created a simple MFC project, and in that MFC project, we used the same backend code, whatever we used in the Ubuntu, and then that same code. Uh, with that same backend code with the MFC dialogs, we built the MFC application and we ran it. So now yes. this is how if you open that MFC app, it says select MP4 file, you select it, and once the select is done, the conversion process starts and the pop up comes here. And after the pop up, finally, you can see that MP3 file is generated. Yeah, so to keep I guess sure, there's a sweet yeah. moment like you know, like yeah, all the hard work which we kept in the backend part, mm. and uh, yeah. That actually shows the result. You know, uh, in Windows, mm -hmm. it made it, it 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 made us to build this very easily. Correct, correct. Yes, because we can integrate that very seamlessly, right? Correct, so. correct. Yeah, that comes. Uh, here comes the Rushi's versatility. Here, he was talking about like uh, he actually really helped. Uh, he he's he, he's be is the main man behind uh, actually taking up this product to different platforms and it was his idea actually to up it, this to different platforms and he used it's to a team work it's a team work funny yeah please um, of course it's yes yeah of course come on take a pride man <laughs> sometimes you need it yeah yeah our mentor is not there here actually but if he if he is there yeah he would, he would actually we, feel that we will be having a separate funny. call with our mentor definitely yeah yeah okay so yeah so now yeah so yeah you can i think you can take on this uh, rushi yeah yes mm -hmm. uh like uh, you you guys have seen like uh the windows app which has been made using msc but coming to this android app as i said before we use react native to build this mp4 to mp3 android app and uh, i guess yeah uh, so coming to this building ffmpeg for android like we we took the ffmpeg source and we built the 
uh, lips to Android as we will let the FFmpeg lips to Ubuntu and Windows. So similarly, and what we did for Ubuntu, you did it for Android. Yes, yes. So we had two scripts. Okay. So we had two scripts. One script is to build FFmpeg for uh, Ubuntu, and mm. and the script is to build FFmpeg for Android. Yeah, I know uh, that you were on that platform. I know that you are master at scripts, so don't. No. So, <laughs> okay. so coming to the next part, uh-huh. you know, uh, there is one possibility. Like, uh, you know, when mm-hmm. it comes to Android, I mean, like people used to think of, uh, like, okay, we are going to write the source code in Java mm-hmm. or Kotlin. Mm-hmm. So, yes, we will write in those, but there is a layer called JNA layer where you can write C or C plus plus code too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that. So our React Native application will talk to like will communicate to the Java layer, and Java will communicate to the JNE layer where C and C++ code mm-hmm. uh, will be there. So, so how that difficult that, it is for you to integrate these backend modules into Android? Have it made any code changes? I believe no, right? So I think no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. When it comes to JNE layer, I did uh, zero changes. Oh, that's you know? great! Actually, see, yeah. you can I simply, indicate, uh, so yeah. I did the to which mirror mm-hmm. seamlessly. Like I did, no, I did, I didn't even did a single change. You know, that's great. That's so. great to hear, actually. And I think front end you designed it on your own, I believe. Yes, or front uh, end we need to design a front end. Okay. So, so you need to react for that, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the most challenging part for this project is the front end and the back end, and the bridge. And the mm-hmm. bridge between the front end and back end is mm-hmm. uh, okay, okay, not yeah, yeah, with minimal changes. It, I think yes, mi- yes, with minimal, minimal changes. changes. Of course, yeah, you there will be very minimal changes. Yeah, some data type conversions. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, you can see the screenshots of the app. Like uh, uh-huh. as the these are the same screenshots mm-hmm. which are similar to the MFC. Like in the MFC, you will have a single button like pick video. Correct. That is so, just for. Uh, Ensuring that GUI is working, but this is more of yes. a like kind of a actual app. That is very minimal GUI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This as no, we we just started on yes. first step. Yeah, this is what we got in our mind at that point. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. So we'll click this big video to convert to MP3 button, mm-hmm. and then we'll come to there'll be a pop up like you you have to choose a video, and uh, you'll get a small dialog box mm-hmm. for now. Like MP3 file is a download folder. Correct. So the conversion process will go on in between the in between those two figures, mm-hmm. which is which is in between. Great, great. Yeah. So are yeah. you are you supporting? Yes. To, so once you select the video, are you supporting uh, to play that video, or you will be considering that for the future? I mean, uh, once, once you, I mean, like once you select the video, so yes. are, are you providing any preview for the view? No, no, no. As of now, we are not showing any previews. Okay. In like in further improvements, we will do that definitely. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah, actually, yeah. actually it's and uh, we are giving a and there's a small screenshot at the ending, mm-hmm. so that shows like we are playing the converted file. Okay, so, okay. I think for yeah. audio for audio also we'll be providing a preview in the uh, yeah for audio for audio course. also we'll also okay. give a preview and you know we'll add another more we'll add one more option yeah like we. User converted a video to audio, mm-hmm. and if he he got like well, like if he suppose assume that mm-hmm. he got an output file as an MP3, mm-hmm. so now you want to convert this audio file to mm-hmm. text file. Mm-hmm. So he will have a direct option like he can convert it directly mm-hmm. uh, by doing very minimal changes. Yeah, yeah. I think apart and, uh, from this backend changes, uh, 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 like I mean, uh, UI also will be changing, right? Apart from preview, yeah, we will yes, be coming yes. with a beautiful UI in the coming days also. Yes, uh, yes, that's on the plan. Yeah, that's on the road. Yeah. Yes. So now, and so far, we have discussed uh, uh, like how we built, started with Ubuntu, later move on to Windows, yes, move on to Android. Yes. So now, yes. now, Rishi, you can. This is a, this is a. Everyone believes that building a debug Android application with job done. No, that's not yes, true. Actually, yes. don't believe in it. But yeah, yeah. uploading to Play Store, uh-huh. like uploading to the app, uploading a app to the Play Store is a painful process. Here. Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes. Yeah. Development so, is very easy. Viewers, please follow us here a bit. Yeah, <laughs> development is very easy. Okay. But uh, uh-huh. but when it comes to like uploading a app to Play Store is really challenging. We will have many rules and regulations. We have to fill up many forms. But filling forms is people will think that filling forms is not a very tough job. 
ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్డ్ we'll mention in the description but uh, yeah rushi you can tell your you go go ahead with this yeah. yes so if you have any doubts or mm. if you want to know how like how to publish your app to the play store please refer to this video mm. i have given the title over there yeah presentation yeah so okay. let's okay yes. so now so we'll so want to I pause it yeah yeah rushi please i want to pause here and you please go on with this module or go check it <laughs> hey no come on you should <laughs> you should do it <laughs> no, 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 okay no, jerks have, okay yeah jerks have what yeah see i want to t- tell one thing so so far whatever source code we are following in the back end yes uh, we are used to reuse the same source code for the different platforms but it's a more of like a functional approach functional approach in the sense there is no particular blocks so there is no particular modules which block does which input output like all those uh, connections are not there so our first intention is to ensure at least functionality wise things are up and running and we want to our main focus is on uh, introducing i mean our product to different platforms now actually uh, we want to come up with a little more now so we want to start some modular approach so in the later part of the introducing new features it will be very easy so our actual design is like this so we have command line arguments from the console it's coming to the main loop and in the main loop it parses the arguments and it says okay whether these whatever arguments passed by the user is correct or not if it is correct it will go ahead and pass it to the process module the block 2 is you see is a completely called a process module and then once it get to the process module a translator will running like 2.1 you can see uh, sorry viewers actually this is a very uh, a diagram which we doesn't be you know it's a startup so we don't follow any specific documents this is the document so yes. we don't want to we of course down the line we'll be putting more but for now please be ed- got edges to this so in this translator block we will be actually uh what we will do whatever parameters that are passed or validated we will be kind of converting this uh, tra- command uh, command line inputs into a uh, instructions understand by the processor so for example yes. from the command line if you pass one one means here uh, the instruction that translator will does it it will take one and convert tell tell to the process module one means convert from convert convert operation and it is like if you select the input file input file name and if you select some output as mp3 like if you give some number 3 or like internally we maintain some kind of mapping mechanisms so it will translate those to the things which is understandable by the process blocks so yes. now once process block receives all the parameters like okay i, I have input file is provided and then input uh, what kind of what you want to do with that input file whether you want to convert compress those instruction is given and you will be yes. given in the where the output file will be so once all the inputs are uh, given to the process block the process block yes. simply takes it it opens the stream and the decode and once the stream is opened this is called kind of a demuxing thing i don't want to go to much detail but demuxing means here it will separate the streams you can see video stream audio stream is separated and from the video stream you will be uh, extracting the, getting the actual raw video and then from video audio will get a raw audio yes. and and once this uh, you get the raw audio it you will be again converting this into frames with the help of the encoder and here the we will be defining the encoder specs here okay you want mp3 you want other formats mkv all other things we will be giving it here and then finally we combine those two streams again audio stream and video stream and yes. yeah you will be packaging it together and after packaging we will be getting all the frames and these frames we we will be writing into a file or we will be writing into a stream or we will be putting into a network so we yes. will be sharing few links regarding this uh, uh the terminology is involved in the ffmpeg like muxing demuxing resampling yes. we'll be sharing one link in the comments you can go through it so it's good to know like what kind of things are there in the audio and video like basic things like sampling yes. resampling like this so this is a simple two way modular approach 
and in the yes. next slides we will show the power of this model of it is still more interesting yeah. yes so yes. here see there you go so now you see if you see initially our source code is a kind of 800 lines i believe rushi is that correct um, yeah it, yeah yes initially it was it was yeah it was around 800 i think yes. yeah most of the lens we only wrote but okay <laughs> yes. the main file uh -huh. the main file has 800 lines yes yeah yeah that's true see now see here once we simply put into so the left side is a project structure which is very little at this point so we are maintaining yes. all the that arguments collection and then validating those arguments in the arg parser and then that conversion of that uh, arguments into understandable uh, things by the to the process block we are using translator and then media suit.cpp and .h will be having our actual core logic and this yes. is the main file and will be just simply uh, taking all the arguments and we are setting the arguments and then we are parsing it and then we are validating it and we are starting our process so this is how actually it should looks so yes. now we have refactored our backend code using a two way modular approach and we have verified the results here and it is all good so far nice yes. now it's time to integrate yeah. everything integrate yeah. and test it so yeah. now the magic starts guys please focus here see how this yes. modular approach is exposed us to integrate into any gui free yes. yeah. and uh, there is a small thing which i want to discuss yeah rushi you know, uh, before uh, before starting to develop this module or approach mm -hmm. we uploaded a video i guess you know correct uh, correct, correct yeah what we wanted to do is in the initial slides where i kept the android screenshots and the mfc screenshots mm -hmm. like you can see guys like you you'll have a single button that's it mm -hmm. where you'll pick a video file and then next it will convert and it will uh, place it into the download folder mm -hmm. but you know what uh, like we what we like uh, to put it this way we yeah. wanted use it to provide some options like mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. uh, for audio we'll have, like so if you want you want to give more channel, yeah you want to give more controls to the user yes i wanted to give more control to the user actually yeah instead of just so, uh, selecting the file you yes. want to from the quality point of view, you want to tweak the bit rate you want to like uh, like all other things we want to provide Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. So that's where we started with this modular approach. Mm. Even though now, in, even though this is the starting point of the modular approach, that's why we are giving the input file and the extensions from mm -hmm. through user inputs. Okay. So that is the only change mm. which we did for the first version of the modular approach. Yeah. So whatever so, whatever command line arguments you are passing from console yes. application, same arguments you are sending in a different uh, way. Instead of yes. user manually passing them, Geo yes. application will be passing to our backend code. Yes, yes. So, and, and so to facilitate, like, to facilitate. You can backend, see. Yeah, yeah. Like you can see this yeah. audio expected is here exhibitable. Correct. But you are, uh, so the arguments here are of iPhone F one, uh, yes. iPhone I, and then the file names. Yeah, correct, correct. Yes. So this, same. Yeah, please go ahead. The so, one, the one after this iPhone F uh -huh. is actually the conversion process. Okay. okay and uh, the hyphen i and uh, with prefix input like the path is the input path correct and uh, dash o and uh, the one mm -hmm. is the output file should be in mp3 correct. so that's where if user passed an mp3 then uh, it will be it it will be converted to one file user passes mp4 yeah it will yeah. be converting into an mp3 file so the function yes. you want is one means you need a comp uh, conversion conversion process yes on which file you need the conversion and on what type of uh, conversion you want exactly or, exactly yeah. so these uh, viewers so these uh, input commands will be facilitated through ui so from yes. ui also users can control this i think in the next slide that yes. will be there i think so no, yes yes yes, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is also same thing. Yeah. As we discussed now. So first, Ubuntu is done. Console application modular approach. Yes. And now we are passing different arguments from Ubuntu. Now MFC, something through yeah. MFC same commands are coming through backend. So yes. Now please yes. remember backend code is same. Wrapper code is same. Just yes. the UI inputs 
the some kind of minimal changes we did from UI. You are getting these inputs instead of from console. And yes. If you go, then we're getting the so now, now the same inputs are coming from Android application. Yes. Now, like mm. people can see, like mm. we have a in the first screenshot, screenshot mm. we gave two options like convert video to audio, and the second option is convert compress video. Mm. And if a user presses convert video to audio, then he landed to the second screenshot. And uh, he'll choose a file, and he'll pick a file, and uh, yeah, the good part here is the settings. Part. Okay, so here you'll be telling like which whether you want to convert to MP4, MP3, or EAC. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the previous one doesn't have any options where user can select, but this version has mm. you, like the options where user can select. Okay. And the backend process is same, like. User will select an audio file, mm -hmm. audio extension like mm -hmm. audio output format, mm -hmm. and our backend will convert the video file to the respected audio format. Correct, correct. And correct. it will place in the download folder. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. That's great, yeah. actually. You can, uh, yeah, actually, we are here seeing very a, a seamless integration of the code into different platforms. Yes. We're starting with Ubuntu and then going to. Uh, Windows MFC and then to yes. Android app. So yes. seamlessly we are controlling the inputs. Seamlessly we are yes. using the backend code, and seamlessly yes. we are using the integration data. We are getting the output. Yes. So, now, so far we. Yeah, Rush. I'm sorry. Yeah, Rush, yeah. Please. So far we tested that modular approach with one extension, mm -hmm. one output format, mm -hmm. but we need to extend its support, right? Correct. So that's why that's why we came up with this MP3 AAC and Format. So this is like the modular approach what we have uh, decided. We have seen yeah. the advantages how it is very useful for the integrating the into from front end point of view. So this yes. is from a different point of view from the back end point of view. See how this modular approach will help you. I mean especially the process block will help you with this approach. How we yes. can add different and conversions very easily. If you go up a slide a bit, we can see here. Uh, can you go to a, a slide up? I mean the conversions what we support yeah you can see here now we have this this is the stack we support so if you select mp4 we can convert to mp3 we can convert to AAC and flag these are all yes. the audio related and then yes. we will be adding more audio and we will be adding more video conversions also and yes, we'll be yes. parallelly we will be slowly provide a low level design for our two way modular approach we might be converting into like uh, n number of uh, modulars modules so each module exactly. will take care of uh, a different conversions actually this is more exactly. of LLD guys yes and uh, you know uh, the power of modular approach here mm -hmm. uh, like we tested with one output format later we came up with uh, three output formats that is mp3 AS and flag mm -hmm. and we integrated the same back input seamlessly to the Android and MS we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? I can see here different options you are providing. Great, yes. great, yeah. So, yeah, I guess there is uh, a good initial start for this video to audio formats. Like we came up with a mm -hmm. single, like modular design mm -hmm. and we came up with a minimal UI for Android, MFC, mm -hmm. and Ubuntu has a console application where we'll do all the backend testing and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we just wanted to share these all things to you because yeah, yeah. we wanted to show how we are progressing actually, and where we are yeah. Yeah, actually, exactly. even I am, actually, I am very, uh, I am very excited and very proud of it. See, yes. see, yes. see it, 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 it sounds as if it's a bit simple, but guys, believe me, it is not as simple yes. as it looks like. Developing a product, following a design, integrating yes. into different platforms seamlessly. And extending the backend code for a lot of features, it takes a lot of efforts, I believe. Uh, apart apart yeah. from one of them, he funny mm -hmm. also should have to train me. <laughs> In what one? In what? <laughs> In everything. <laughs> I, I, I am about to say like you should train me. Okay. No, no, no sorry. You <laughs> got the problem. <laughs> we, we, we will have a deal. You, you train me on front end. I will train you on back end. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And, uh, and we both do integration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's yeah. So, yeah. And uh, last but not the least, let's talk our future plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, so it was a big like list. I thought the list is very small. No, it's big. Okay. 
Linux too. Actually, Linux have a console application, but we want to give a desktop application too. Mm-hmm. So that's our high priority. Like we need to progress for those three platforms. Mm-hmm. The place where we are now for other platforms. Right, right, right. So, so what about the functionality up and running for the current uh, Ubuntu, Windows, MFC, and uh, Android? Yes. Same, yes. same functionality. We want to make it up. for the other, for other Ras- platforms too. raspberry pi 4 and then yes. mac os and ios so yes, we, we, are yes. get, we are getting all the new raspberry pi boards and then we yes. are getting the new macbooks like once yes. once we got the shipping is done we'll be definitely yes. going through it and, and uh, future the next priority is yeah. mm-hmm. the next priority is like any to any conversion mm-hmm. like we want to convert video to any video type and video to any audio type mm-hmm. and any audio to any audio type so Uh, right right so that's our next major priority and uh, we had to remove the mfc dependency too because you know uh, till now mm-hmm. for windows we focus on mfc instead of react native i guess mm-hmm. because you know uh, while developing or uh, while developing or building something using hybrid technologies mm-hmm. you actually should know how to build the same using the native technologies too mm-hmm. uh that's a that the place is very key and you know because if we face some challenges while building using react native mm-hmm. uh trust me while building the same uh, same product or same same concepts using the native technologies will definitely help while building using hybrid technologies we can the okay. knowledge will definitely help Okay, you mean native means specific to the device. You don't want to mix different technologies, and you want exactly, to focus exactly. on React native. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Like, like native means like for Android, we use Java and Kotlin. Okay. You know, okay. you should definitely okay. know how yes, to build yes. the same app using Java and Kotlin. Hmm hmm hmm. Uh, Got it. Yes. Yeah. That uh, actually, you know, that will take a lot of time. Yeah. But that yeah. Definitely. But that will help. That knowledge will help you definitely by building the same using the hybrid platforms. Mm-hmm. yeah but using uh, like building the apps or desktop apps or mobile platform apps mm-hmm. using hybrid technologies is very challenging yes, like yes, people yes. will say that use ionic it will create uh, mm-hmm. two apps like for ios and androids in a single shot people will say that but yeah but yeah. when it comes to like uh, If Correct. there are more layers like back and front end and the bridge layer and the net so chain layer, so it is like more of t- it is possible with hybrid, but it is tough to maintain because yes. we do need to take care of lot of things. But uh, yes, uh, from that point of, I think React is na- React native and React native plugins is yes. will make a life bit easy in the sense like uh, all the internals, all these conversions, all this display adapting, yes. all these things, pixel adjustments, all this it will be internally yes. taken care by them. We need to yes. take care of high level building the modules. So for yes. that reason also we picked the React, and yes, we yes. will be removing the dependency for MFC dependency for Windows, and we will strict yes. stick to the React for all the platforms, and then yes, of course, and then we will be coming with more uh, low level design for the back end. And then we will yes. also be uh, adding features. features, features like yeah, noise filtering, resizing, compressing files, mixing, resampling, enhancing quality. And yes, yes. yeah, Rushi, yeah, you want to yeah. yeah. So, so far so good. Yeah, viewers, I think it uh, went so far. Yeah, yeah, Rushi, a, a big thank to you. I think it's been late in the day, but you have stayed <laughs> for long, and then helped me. help me and the viewers in uh, retrospecting uh, retrospecting our journey and yeah. uh, viewers i hope you are clear with our journey so far so the i want to give a quick recap so we started with a simple so we are passionate about startup we are we started with the product multi magics we started yes. small 
we simply MP4 to MP3 conversion, and yes. we started with Ubuntu. We are moving to MFC. We moved to Android, and then now we are about to move to iOS, Android, and then iOS, Mac, and then uh, Raspberry Pi 4, and we'll yes. enhance the front end and back end beautifully. And in coming yes. days, you'll be seeing a lot of videos from us. And once in a month, we'll be we'll be seeing a retrospective meetings like that that me and Rushi will be uh, giving viewers and uh, like like casual discussions. Like it. I hope these kind of discussions will help the viewers also to come up with the different ideas and showcase in your uh, organization. And then and then yes. we'll be conducting one live session soon in the next week. And we'll yes, be also, maybe next. Uh, yeah, yes. and also in this weekend we'll be posting one more video regarding a video conversion. So far, the discussion is about audio only, and then we'll be extending this to video also conversion yes. from MP3. And uh, yeah, Rushi. Uh, no, like we are two now. If anyone wants to contribute or uh, be a part of this, any yeah, please feel free to contact us, and mm -hmm. we'll be very happy to see you on the board. Yes. Yes, yes, guys. Yes, we. It's it's. It will be really amazing if we can be part of this wonderful journey. We will be sharing our. Uh, actually, we'll be maintaining. We'll be coming up with a blog actually too soon. Uh, yes. I think it's yes. in progress, and we'll be sharing the details there. Whoever was interested with these things, you can definitely reach out to us, and then we'll be. Um, we kind of we can discuss the further steps. Yeah. Yes, our website will be live maybe next mm -hmm. week. Okay. So at the time we'll. Give you the URL mm -hmm. and uh, there you can see our blogs and you can interact with us. Yes, and yes. Uh, maybe we'll come up with some social media platforms too, like Instagram sure. and all. Yes, so, yes, yes. Once again, yeah. thanks all viewers and subscribers for encouraging us. We are signing off for the day. My myself yeah. is funny and he's so yeah, cheap. Thanks everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks thank everyone. You, thank you. Yeah, please. Uh, be happy and support us. <laughs> yep, definitely, definitely. Yeah, they will, I think yeah. the viewers will support us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.